Oh, hi guys. Oh, <laughs> then he sounds surprised. <laughs> uh, right, Cliff here. I'm going to be building a new model now while the weather sorts itself out. And this one is a Camco Cavalier, a low wing tricycle undercarriage sort of semi aerobatic model from the 1970s. It was actually the first um, low wing model I ever built. So um, I thought I'm between builds at the moment. So uh, I've got a little pile of balsa wood um, in the corner of the workroom here, so I'm going to utilise that and I'm going to build this Camco Cavalier. Uh, it's going to be pure nostalgia, I think they call it retro these days. Um, it's got some interesting old quirks on it construction wise. It's a little bit heavy construction because it was designed for um, IC, I should be electrifying it of course. Um, and just changing the construction here and there to suit uh, my style of building. So if you'd like to follow along with the build, hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell button if you want and that will tell you when I've uploaded part two. Part one is going to be the fuselage construction and part two is going to be tail feathers and nose. Uh, and that's about it. So let's crack on and enjoy the build. Ah, don't forget to comment as well if you fancy saying something. I'm always pleased to hear uh, your observations. Cheers, guys. See you in the workroom. Uh, cheers, girls, as well. See you in the workroom. Now, so far, I've made up two fuselage sides. Uh, comprises of 332nd sheet. I made it out of eight because that's what I had. A 1mm ply doubler going to the front and then a another one eight balsa doubler on the top of that don't forget this is originally a power model so it's quite heavy but um modern electrics will easily lift all this stuff so what i've done i've marked the side up with the well actually let me angle you down and you'll see what i'm talking about so the plan calls for uh one eight a one eight framework attached to the side of this so it's got one eight square down there here this is all one eight square and a bit of eighth per quarter along the bottom edge so i've marked this side up and i'm now going to find a bit of quarter by eighth to put on there and the one eighth square going just there so back in the tick just stripping up a bit of eighth it's not difficult to gauge a piece of eighth it's not worth fetching my balsa stripper out just for this little bit it's not essential that it's exactly one eighth anyway so even if it varies very slightly not the end of the world. Don't try and go through in one cut. Keep the scalpel blade exactly upright as well. That should be enough for a minute. So first strip has to be along the top to the start of the tail plane. It only helps to support the, the top deck it all starts taking shape rather nicely. Let's use that block to push it up tight to the top edge. Oh, I think it's sprung off at the bottom there. I think I've sensed it springing. Now this one I can probably pin it right through because it's a quarter inch wide. The most important thing when you're constructing a pair of fuselage sides, and we learn this um, through bitter experience, the most important thing you have to remember is to build a pair. Don't build two right-hand sides or two left-hand sides. Looking forward to test flying the Spitfire, Grillo's conversion, and uh, not happy with that piece, cut it short. The Grillo's conversion 
and the tiger moth again um, anyway look there's the um, starboard side made I'm going to uh, stop there obviously. welcome back guys so what I'm doing is just I've glued in one former 90 degrees these two are former basic a box so they can go in at 90 degrees uh, the front one I've cut a hole in big enough to take a battery not sure what size yet but the width is the same anyway so so I'm just going to glue this one in here it's flat on the top of the fuselage so if I lay it down that way just that fits in there that clips in there like that there's no reason why I can't glue that in as long as that's flat onto the, the building board the top edge is flat it can't not be square and I'll let that go off for a few minutes and I'll run a bead of aliphatic in there and that will be the start of the fuselage might put a couple of pegs on there actually why not let's go peg crazy got the pegs let's use them if I'll stretch that one won't that one will like that All right then guys and gals we'll let that set off so I've glued in the cross braces do only one eighth square just to hold it to the correct shape while the top and bottom sheeting goes on obviously I can't put the bottom sheeting on until I've got snakes in push rods but that's gone nicely I've put the uh, well I glued these on didn't I and they're set now and roughly shaped I've put in the I've put in the front former with um, triangular stock around it as you can see I'm going to put the hatch on the top for the battery access. So my next step is to put on the top sheeting, which is one eighth, and it starts here. As you can see, I've cut the pieces out, and I'm just going to glue them on one at a time. Obviously, the fuselage side has to be uh, rounded off a little bit. You know, you've built aeroplanes in the past, so you know the order of construction. The bottom sheeting, by the way, is only uh, 16th. This is eighth on the top. It's about a north piece, please, Cliff. I'll cut that one to length. Start it with the plan. Kits you'll buy these days will detail every little part of the build. Um, but that's what did I say earlier on when I was saying about building? Um, you know, if you haven't if you haven't got the instructions, you can learn so much on YouTube. I mean, I've learned loads on YouTube, loads. You never stop learning, do you? But you generally find error models are quite happy to share their knowledge. No reason why you wouldn't. So that's the top sheeting done. When that's dry, I'll just cut it all down flush, give it a sand. Now I'm going to work on the back spine while that's drying. So I'll set that to one side. This shape is transferred from the plan just by putting pin pricks through where, where the part goes so it's really very simple if you don't mind doing lots of little pin pricks there are other methods but what I've always done so that's that piece there oh I worried then I had the curved bit down so that's that piece there like that Okay, I've stuck on the formers and the plan calls for one eighth square to go in there and there and on the surface of these but I don't like that idea I'm going to use I happen to have some one eighth by three sixteenth beachy perhaps is that what it is 
but these one eighth square are going to be vulnerable to breaking so this will make it nice and strong i know it's a little bit heavier but what i need to do is to rebake these an extra sixteenth and i might just rebake these other spar um, formers just slightly just to key it in place and take it in just a little bit if i think it's necessary so first off i'll cut it not cut it over length of course okay the uh, uh, long ones are glued in i'll let them set overnight and tomorrow i can trim them off to length and give them a sand in but that's basically basically it you can see what it looks like there look that was a fun evening's build i enjoyed that the tail plane is one eighth square covered with balsa sheet top and bottom and the fin is three sixteenth three sixteenth solid sheet uh, which seems uh and butter seems a lot of weight there so i'm thinking i'll go for a, a built-up fin there's no reason why it shouldn't be built up there we are that's what we got so far and so next video thank you for watching this video uh, hit the like button down below and subscribe button if you're not already subscribed helps with the channel and it's free and watch out for part two